This video is about the increased focus on eating disorders and mental health in general. In Australia, 10% of women and 8% of men regularly engage in some sort of disordered eating behaviour. And nearly half of those with an eating disorder have binge eating disorder, which has only recently been listed as a unique eating disorder category. Binge eating disorder is when someone eats a large amount of food in a short period of time. For example, a loaf of bread or a tub of ice cream, and this happens at least once a week for three months or more. People who diet are six times more likely to develop an eating disorder, which is another reason to never recommend restrictive diets to clients. Despite being out of scope of practice for a fitness professional, this can be damaging long-term to people's physical and mental health. The impact of social media on body image and eating disorders is real. So as trainers, we need to be conscious about what we post and what influence that might have on someone else. Influencers like Celeste Barber are changing how we see these videos and images and how ridiculous some of them actually are. In France, images that are photoshopped must be indicated and it's illegal to run pro-Anna or pro-Mia websites. These websites are basically how-to guides to develop eating disorders and can be extremely influential for susceptible people. Some celebrities suffer from eating disorders as the pressure to conform to a certain body shape can dominate their lives. Many celebrities, including Jane Fonda, Elton John and Kesha, have discussed their ongoing battles with eating disorders and shared stories in the hope of inspiring others to seek help and talk about their struggles. Others blatantly don't care. Kim Kardashian recently promoted appetite suppressing lollipops, dividing her fans. Beyonce Knowles has lent her support to the Lemon Detox Master Cleanse and Kylie Jenner, another detox program. So here are my tips to use social media to create a body positive movement. Number one, unfollow people who post unrealistic images of themselves, which have clearly been altered and filtered. Number two, unfollow celebrities and influencers who are pushing products constantly. Number three, follow people who are body positive, diverse and empowering. And number four, don't use body editing apps. We have a big responsibility in the fitness industry where obsessions with body image and eating disorders are rife. We can identify signs of an eating disorder such as continual dieting, rigid eating patterns, skipping meals under the guise of intermittent fasting, constant body checking. However, Often people with an eating disorder will go to extreme lengths to hide it, so it can be tricky. Orthorexia is a newer term not officially listed as an eating disorder, but refers to the obsession with eating clean or healthy food. We see this a lot in the fitness world and it can be counterproductive and mess with people's mental health. One reason diagnosed eating disorders will gain more attention this year is because in 2019, the Australian government announced significant Medicare support for those suffering with eating disorders, including more access to psychological and dietetic services.